Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Last time we managed to find the bomb bag, and with it we can now open up a lot of new areas within the game. Now I want to utilize that immediately. Now while we were in the Spirit Temple in the previous video and we needed sticks to continue throughout the temple, Deku sticks to be exact, uh, we're gonna go ahead and farm for some in a bit, but since I had to leave the temple, may as well do some other things as an adult, and first and foremost is make my way back to Dodongo's Cavern, now that we do have bombs and finish what we started seven years ago. Yes, now that we are an adult, we can hopefully finish up this temple, and the easiest way to there is by teleporting to Death Mountain, and wait, 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 I just realized something, are these bomb shoes? I totally forgot there's a piece of heart up here. Um, instead it's bomb choose. This is actually super super useful uh, We kind of needed it in the previous video, but I managed to get around without it now I do have to wait for this to come back So let's go ahead and do this and then wait it out again because this is just the fastest way around uh, The Death Mountain crater what I want to do is once it gets us around this area just jump and now we should be up at the top, and this will take us to the very top of Death Mountain. Well, not necessarily the very top, but the highest point you can reach. And up here, with our bombs, which I'm going to go ahead and take out, we should be able to check out a great fairy fountain. Now, can I actually use I believe I could use this. Yeah, so in reality, I didn't need the bombs for this uh, exact one, but whatever. We're going to be using it elsewhere. And whoops, okay. Didn't mean to have it explode on me like that, but... Uh, hey, at least we got bombs, right? So we got as many as we need. Hopefully we don't run out. And no, no, I don't mean it. Crap, wait, why did I grab that? I meant to grab my ocarina. Okay, whatever. I'm hurting myself on purpose. We're gonna get healed anyways from this great fairy. Actually, do we get healed even if we just get a random item? I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully we get the magic. I really need the magic. I didn't notice how important the magic was. And more bomb shoes. What are the odds? I... <laughs> I needed bomb chews and bombs so bad, and now all of a sudden we're finding them one after the other. Bomb chews just now, and then the bombs in the previous vi video. Oh well. Okay. So, hopefully Death Mountain isn't erupting. It is going to be erupting from what I remember. Yeah, okay. But are, is there a Skullpla over here? At all? Pro and then probably just wall Skullplas, not golden ones. It's no big deal. Let's just go ahead and run away from here. Wait, wait. I believe there's one here? Yeah, there is. Okay. I, I need to just at least get 50, so while I do know all the locations, I'm not trying to remember off the top of my head, so if I could find one, that's good, because I need half of the total amount within the game, and I feel like that'd be pretty doable, but okay, so it's still erupting even though we're exiting the trail. We should be good now. There we go. I think it's going to calm down. How's it still going? Okay, shut up, Navi. Yeah, we're good now. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's so random how that happens, but I do believe here we can get ourselves some milk. Is there a chest of sorts that we could pick up as well? Probably not. So yeah, if you want easy milk, just play uh, the opponent's song to that, but I don't care for it. Eh. Rupees, whatever. Okay. I just had to, you know, double check. A grotto is a grotto. It could hold maybe a chest I don't remember. Like I said, I don't know exactly where all the blue rupee chests are. I remember them, but like it's hard to... What the heck? Oh yeah, I forgot. The, the textures for this area are uh, missing for some reason. Why is it missing? <laughs> what is this? You can see the chest we opened over there though. That's kind of cool. Okay, whatever. That's not the point. Let me not waste time messing with that. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's with my emulator or the ROM causing it to do that or what. For those wondering what I'm using, I'm using RetroArch. I had a lot of people actually ask me which uh, emulator I was using. and It's known as RetroArch. Um, I honestly didn't really do much in terms of installing it. I had my friend Kishendo who has done randomizers do it all on my computer. He was visiting for the time and I'm just like, yo, can you get on my computer and hook me up? I've been wanting to play randomizer for a minute. So he did literally everything, even down to creating the seed. I just chose like, you know, I wanted Navi to bark, I wanted, uh, you know, Pony to moo, and then obviously the pink and red that I have going on to create the Rose Warrior, but, uh, yeah, in... <laughs> Uh, in reality, I had him like choose everything for me when it comes to like the the sequence and the quests and having the master sword already available because I do believe it, you know when choosing the randomizer you don't have to have all of these options available for you in the beginning but I'm really glad he chose it like this because it feels like I'm playing Breath of the Wild Ocarina of Time if that makes sense and I don't know why Navi's still barking we don't really care what you have to say got to use these bombs drop in the holes. Hopefully, hopefully I don't waste all my bombs doing this. I mean, technically I can buy more. So, 
Did it fall in? I can't tell. I think it's good enough. Okay. There we go. So yeah, in this video, it's all about the bombs and kind of utilizing how useful they will be. Okay, I'm going to jump. Oh, I was going to hopefully jump in the middle of that sequence. So as the door is dropping, aka the mouth, uh, we'd be falling in the midair. But oh well. Okay. Go ahead and roll link. Phew. <laughs> These, this barking is just getting me curious on what Navi wants to say. It's, it's more intriguing when you hear the bark than that. Because the listen you're just like, shut up. When it's a bark, it's like, oh, there's something up. <laughs> but okay, so this should be much easier, right? Can I do this? You, oh, you can. Hell yeah. We skipped everything within this. But there must be a... Um, there must be something I'm missing out on, and what I mean by that is I feel like there might be a chest or two, or even a sculptor I want want to head back for. Wait, wait, okay, screw you. Um, at least we managed to skip most of this puzzle without having to do it the way the game intended to. I'm glad that you can complete this entire dungeon as an adult. I think that's really cool. Uh, I've, sequence breaking in this game, well, it's gonna take me a while to get used to. I freaking love. Um, but okay, so you know, King Dodongo is ready to face us, but I'm gonna have him wait for a second. Yay, we can get bombs in here. Okay, I definitely want that. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can just jump. Can we jump this too? No, but can I jump this? Climb. Okay, well, Youngling could have done that actually. So it's not like I did anything too crazy. What's over here? Okay, let's actually bomb this. So let me place my bomb right here, shield. Back out, let's see if it'll explode in my face. Oh yeah, the shield. Uh, Perfectly helps. Super useful, but okay, this room has just a spell file, which I could take. I mean, if anything, this will make it our 30th one. And I definitely want that so I can see what item we'll get. So not bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the final temple as young link, but this time as an adult. Like this is the final young link temple, but we're literally an adult doing it. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you. I gotta head around to climb like this. Oh yeah, I can pick up maybe a heart. It's not like I need these. Like, it's funny. This whole uh, playthrough, I've been trying to play it safe with my hearts and stuff. But, like, I forgot how I got double uh, hearts from the beginning of the game. And that's the white border around my hearts. Like, we got that from just some random item. And that's what you get right before you take on Ganon's Tower. Like, the final castle within the game is when you pick up the double hearts. Uh, and we got it just so early on it's honestly super convenient i love how we got that lucky but okay this chest can be anything normally it's supposed to be bombs to complement this run but instead it's uh not a blue rupee okay whatever i should have saw it coming okay link go ahead and not wait what that hurt me whatever i guess because i have to fly back so then i can jump and get ready to face King Dodongo. Yes, oh, this is gonna be exciting because I feel like it's one hit with the Bagoron sword. I didn't think you'd find, he didn't think you would find someone this big. All right, come on, bring it on, buddy. Go ahead, bottoms up. And three, two, one. No? Oh, you could take more hits. Respect. Um, I guess I was wrong. Something like that, it, it would take much less, but it doesn't matter. Go ahead. So I got you a present. Can I open wide? Yep. And this should do it. Yeah, okay, two hits makes makes sense. Uh, this is so cool that I actually took him on as an adult. But yeah, I like how he kills himself. He's like, I gotta roll, I gotta get out of here. Wait a second. Yeah. The deaths for these uh the death animation for these bosses were really well done for the first time. Like, I remember seeing this as a kid, I thought it was really creepy and weird, and I wondered why Nintendo put so much effort for it, and of course it's the compass. If you don't get the compass then you get it by the boss. Um, but yeah, look at it, you're dead. Burning. In the lava that it created it into... Uh-oh, no! Why am I doing this? Okay, okay, cool, run, 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 run. Whatever. I, I don't know why I'm constantly grabbing a bomb. I keep doing that on accident because of the C buttons. <laughs> okay, we just have the light medallion, which... Does that give us anything in particular? Oh, I like how we walk over here. What? Is this link doesn't start here. It's the Gorons that chase him out. But those Gorons are dead. Those Gorons don't exist. I wonder if we have the cutscenes. Would it play? Huh. Oh, well. Okay. Take this. And die. Um... 
So, how many medallions does that leave us with? We probably almost have them all. No, never mind. We're not even close. <laughs> and we don't even have all the spiritual stones either. I want the spiritual stones so I can get the Ocarina of Time or whatever that item will be. Speaking of which, we're going to get ourselves another item right now. So, let's just go ahead and at least check that out. Um, I do want to purchase the blue tunic since I don't believe we own it yet, right? Uh, oops. Yeah, we don't. So, that's like the only item we're missing right now in terms of like... Uh, items that we can equip on Link that aren't, um, you know, usable items that help you progress. Like, what I mean is there's like tunics and shields. So that's like the only thing we're missing that in the- Oh, and the mirror shield, actually. I totally forgot. The mirror shield's really important. But, okay. Uh, yeah, the curse has been broken. What do you got me? Uh, I was hoping, like, it would be, like, the mirror shield and blue tunic. That'd be so awesome. But it's just more money. That's why we should spend money on a blue tunic. So we can stop holding and hoarding all of this useless cash. Um, oh well. Okay, well, I think that's it for here. Um, I do want, a lot of people told me to test this out and see if you can play these minigames without a bow. Can you? You can, okay, it's cool. I, I might as well try it. I'm gonna give this a shot and... No! Um, it's from reverse. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, okay, it's just aiming sucks, now it's gonna fly. And then it's gonna be a blue rupee here, blue rupee there. No, okay, it's this one. Eh, hit it. Okay, phew. No. Okay. Okay, okay, they're flying ones now. No, it's two at once. Come on. Oh, I did them all. Wait, this, this minigame is super easy. I bet it gave us more money. No. No. Can I do it again? Is, if I do it twice, don't you get a quiver upgrade and a piece of heart? Or is it for this one? Or since I don't have, since I don't have a bow, he can't give me the quiver. And since I don't have the quiver, I can't get the special item. So maybe no matter what, it would have been that, right? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I've never played this game out of sequence, guys. That's why I'm so confused. And to some people, this might be obvious what I should be doing. But I got no clue. But okay, someone also said that the, the, the grotto that I was tr trying to aim for was actually... A bit closer to the entrance of the area, which is it? I don't, or maybe it's not available as a kid. See, I don't really know. I'm gonna attempt it though. I mean, it's gonna waste time. This is what I did in the last video, hoping I'd find it just at random. So we don't have the Stone of Agony. Okay, whatever. Maybe, maybe I, I just shouldn't mess with this. I'll just do it on my way out. Just constantly whack the ground. Okay, no luck. We're good. It's fine. I think I uh, learned my lesson here. So let's just go ahead and now leave. Um, so, what else can we do as an adult with bombs in our hands? Uh, I'm trying to think. I guess what I kind of want to do is make my way back to the... Uh, what's it called? Kokiri Forest as an adult. While we didn't complete the forest temple, I kind of, because we can't, and for those wondering who are constantly requesting me, because I had a lot of people say, check out the forest temple, you can find a lot of valuable things. I agree. I just don't have Saria's song yet. And Saria's song prevents me from even entering the sacred meadow in any sort of way. So I'm kind of screwed there. But uh, while I could have called Epona, whatever, I'm just going to walk to it. It's fine. We're going to go ahead and head over, um, hopefully, fire some Deku sticks. I don't know if we'll be able to pick up some Deku sticks by doing this, but uh, what I mainly want to do is just kind of backtrack in the um, the tree itself and get that one valuable item. And I do believe you can do that as an adult as well, if my memory serves me correctly. We're going to go ahead and figure out right now by entering here at night. Um, well, this is our first time in this game coming here at night. At least this playthrough, that is. And you're not going to give me what I want, but I can use some nuts. I can use plenty of nuts. I just fill up our nut bag. Um, I do believe there's a couple skulls here too, actually. So it's a good thing I came here at night. That's perfect timing, if anything. Because I want to say there's a couple. Just at random. But I don't know which which house where. It's not here, though, right? Yeah, okay. This was the wrong one. Whatever. We'll check thoroughly. Whoa, these giant Deku Babas, though. Terrifying. But it kind of lets you know what you're up against. Cause... Oh, wait. This was a stick, too. Awesome. Give me the stick. Give it to me. No, pick it up, Link. Wait. Can adult Link not pick up sticks? 
For my younger self? That's so lame. What? I'm so... No, I don't... I was hoping I'd be able to farm sticks as an adult. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna hit you in time. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so, is there one over here? Yeah, there is. Okay. So, I, I remember one at least within here. Might as well grab it since I am here. Yeah, there should be another skull plot. Whoops. Eh. There should be another gold skeleton literally in the great deck which here. We're just gonna grab we're gonna grab it since we do have the bombs and I think you need the bombs to enter it, so yeah, I'm just utilizing everything I can utilize with the bombs and oh look at that. You're blocking away. Hey buddy. Well guess what? I could pierce through your armor with this. I like how you can do that. I believe with the bow you can't, or can you? I think the bow works here. But okay. Please, come on. Be a stick. Nope, there's more nuts. And one is it the way you kill him? No. Is it the way you kill him? Also, the Great Decker Tree is closed during as an adult. Never mind, I was wrong. Okay, let's just do this. Wait, wait. No. Okay, maybe it is the way you kill him. I think I need to, like, when I hit him once, I... Yeah, we're gonna try this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit you once. Oh, uh, that kills you immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm being really dumb, and I'm wasting time doing this. So... All right, let's try this. No, it doesn't matter. I, I don't know why I felt like maybe it does or it doesn't. Either way, we're wasting plenty of time just farming around here. This is completely and utterly useless. So I'm going to go ahead and just make my way back. Hey, I got some nuts. I was hoping I'd pick up some sticks along the way, but I don't know why it's not working out for me. I need these sticks so we can just continue on. I don't know why I couldn't even pick up a stick. Like, we found one, I just need one, but... Uh, either it's glitched, or Adult Link isn't supposed to pick him up. I don't remember, I'll be real. That, that's such a small detail that I don't think I've ever stumbled upon within the game, so... Yeah, personally, I have no clue how that works, but sadly, it was a waste. Luckily... As Young Link, we don't have to do too much to get back to where we want to go, and that is Kokiri Forest again. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to soft reset, and the reason why is because I'm going to spawn, instead of in the Temple of Time as an adult, in my house as a kid. Because that's where Young Link automatically respawns at when you restart the game. That's where your default area is if you're not inside a temple. So yeah, instead of walking all the way back, you know, we don't need a horse, we need nothing. We're just gonna have the game take us to there. So let me quickly reset. All right, even if you are in the Temple of Time, as you can see, as a kid, this is just Link's default area. And yeah, so it's still nighttime. Everything's the same except there are people here. Uh, it's not filled with enemies. And I just want to pick up, like I said, a couple sticks, and I guess, you know, traverse the tree. Um, I guess this time, not as an adult. I guess you cannot do it as an adult. You can do Denango's Cavern as an adult, but no, you cannot re-enter the tree as an adult, sadly. But that's no big deal, because it comes out we had to do this as a kid, so that way these guys can spawn, and they can give me what I'm looking for, and that is the stick. I really feel like the giant Deku Babas though would give you a stick if you just kill him the proper way. Maybe using a Deku nut or something. I have a feeling someone's going to correct me and tell me that. Um, but you know, some of them just appear differently. Like this one I feel like won't come out like a stick. It will look like one. No, it does. Okay, so the ones that like just straight up grow up, you know, sprout upwards, it makes sense in why they drop sticks. But the ones that are like curved and kind of try to attack you differently. Which I believe these ones will be a good example. Yeah, these ones have to be nuts. Even no, unless we kill them like this, which is a stick. So, hmm, I'm gonna try something. So I'm gonna kill you like this. You know, I'm gonna have you come bring your head back down. All right, go ahead, attack me. Okay, and then, wait, come on. What the frick, what? Okay, attack, there we go. And nuts, yeah, okay. So it is, it is dependent on how you kill them. So again, we're gonna have, no, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I'm trying to <laughs> try to figure out if there's like a science behind this. It probably just some drop nuts. Some, some drop. Please let me know if you actually if you know the the way behind this. But okay. So wait, I hear. What is that? Is that a gold sculpture? It is. Why did I leave this one? Oh yeah, I wasn't sure if gold sculptures were um, needing to be collected in this playthrough or not. Well, now I know. So. Good thing we came back here because we're picking up more than one. We're going to pick up two, it looks like. So, okay. 
Go ahead and uh, no, Link, jump, grab on. There you go, climb. Right, let's go ahead and quickly um, re-enter this area so that way we can open up the block door with the bombs and I guess let me just pick up a skull I don't think there's a chest I'm trying to think like even if it was just a simple rupee chest that would go a mile in this playthrough okay let's kill you quick and we're going through a lot of bombs sadly quite a bit we'll hopefully we'll find some more okay so what do we got here just the skull yeah I guess that's it that's the only thing we have okay cool I don't know I killed No, stop with the uh, I need to stop with the C stick. It's the worst item to pick up because they're limited. Okay. What about you? Is there a chest behind you or something? What what is behind you? Okay, wait. You know what? No, it's, 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 wait, no, no link. No, no. Uh. Okay, I hit you from behind. I can. Cool. Is there anything here? Nothing. I guess I just want you dead. Uh, so I want to use the lens of truth for a secret? I doubt it. I don't think there's anything else here. But I think we're good. Okay. So we got sticks. How many sticks do we actually have? Five? I want to say that's enough. Let's go ahead and teleport out. So, um... No, that's not the one I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do... Wait. There you go. Okay. I, I'm I'm positive I have at least you know, like I said, the C stick songs memorized. Not the ones on the 3DS, but this one I've been playing for so long that, yeah, I feel like I would remember it. And okay, so we're back here. This is where we kind of ended off the last video. We wanted to complete this area. We got bomb chews now, which is a plus. And if anything, I could play that bomb chew mini game later. I guess I will consider that. See what items I can get, but um. Let's uh, let's just finish this area because this is what I really wanted to do. At least this was the plan for this video to have some progress in some sort of temple. Because I'll be real, we did kind of waste time walking all the way back to uh, the forest. But this is just what happens when I have a blind playthrough without anything planned. I'll be real with you guys. Uh, kind of just winging things, and that's what makes this so fun. I know to some people, they're used to watching me know everything about a Zelda game, 100%ing it. It's more of a guide than it is just a playthrough, but this is just a playthrough. I'll be real with you guys. Like, I don't, uh, attempt to really show you how to beat it. I'm just gonna beat it with you guys, and that's kind of how I want to treat this whole playthrough like. Um, and I'm enjoying the, you know throwing the crap out of it, but um, I do know it's a lot different than pretty much every other Zelda Let's Play I've done, because like the one time I'm completely lost at all moments. But, okay, so... Oh, I have to do this again? It's fine, though, because we have uh, we have what we need, and that is the bomb chews. Oh, and this music. This music. This is my favorite temple of all time, and everything about it, the aesthetic, everything about this temple, is just, it's too good. I'm enjoying it right now, just listening to this music. Being in this temple, screw you, Dino Phone, I'm not messing with you. Uh, but yeah, okay, so we have to like resolve all of this, but it didn't take us too long to do. So we're getting around rather quickly. We gotta, hopefully we don't have to resolve. Oh, I really hope we don't have to resolve this room in general, please. Please be straightforward. Please just have us light the torches. Yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. We're good. We just need to light the torches and then we can even move the box. I don't, do no, no picking up the stinking thingies again, which really sucks. Yeah, this should give us the small key, I believe. Unless it gives us not the small key, that'd be kind of funny, but I don't think it would trap us like that. So we're gonna figure out right now. Come on, we got this. There we go, perfect. Wait, no, come on, Link, Link, stop! No! Ah! Eh. There we go. Take that. Do I have a fairy on me or do I have bugs? I have bugs. I have to play sa really safe. That's fine. Uh, we do have a mini boss up ahead, but I feel like with all the bomb chews we're sitting on, we'll be good. And no, 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 no! No, no! So it comes out we can't face the boss because I don't have the key. 
I thought that was gonna be what I want. Well, there must be an area, must be a way I can get the key. Or maybe I actually have to get the key as an adult. We're gonna figure out. I really hope this is not a dead end. That'd be really sad. It wouldn't surprise me though with this randomizer. <laughs> But it'd be really sad. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this room and see if there's any chest I can still pick up as a kid that I don't need my gauntlets for. Because the gauntlets are supposed to be at the end of this room. I already know it's not gonna be the gauntlets anyways. But still. Imagine if we just upgraded straight to the gold and we don't even need the silver. That'd be so sick. But okay, at least we can leave the room now. Which I'm gonna do. Very politely, just kind of walk out. So I have to resolve this. Hopefully, I don't have to resolve this room. I just have to push that block back. But in this room, there is a gold sculpture which I would love to pick up. But I need the block of time or the song of time to bring the block of time to me. So I can't do that. If I jump down here, let me see if there's any hearts. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Din's Fire would get me a chest here. Sadly, I can't do that because I don't have magic. Even if I had Din's Fire, I wouldn't be able to use it. Um, and then this is all an adult link portion. So, wow. I feel really dumb, the fact that uh, this happened. But wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, we've been kind of sequence breaking this entire time. But I want to see if this will work. This is not necessarily how you're supposed to do it, but it's technically possible. You could do this, Link. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, never mind. We don't need Din's Fire for this. Nice, good thing I thought outside the box here. I'm gonna need to be doing this constantly so I don't get stuck anymore. So, okay, let's see what this is. Come on, come on, be the gallons, be something special. Yes, okay, oh, oh, so technically we could have solved all of this as a kid. Okay, sweet, sweet. Phew, I am feeling so much better now. It was all not a waste, guys, this whole video. The, the What we had generally planned for this video is going to come to fruition. And for that, I am excited. And we have plenty of bomb chews. I'm not afraid to die from this upcoming mini boss. This mini boss is like one of my favorite mini bosses in all of Zelda. I'll be real with you guys. Um, I love the concept behind this upcoming boss. The iron knuckles. These armored warriors uh that you know some you don't even you can't even guess who's under the armor you just think it's some evil source but are they all evil i don't know either way here we go all right let's do this so i guess i'll start off with a stick a stick does hella damage so it didn't work actually never mind okay it's fine so hey and eat up Eat them bomb chews, yummy yummy. You have them all explode on you. And you join them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the armor's coming off. You're speeding up. Oh. How many bomb chews? So, it's, so far we're about over 10. We're, okay. So it took 12? It took 12 or something? I don't know. It, n not a horrible amount. I could totally buy more. I'm sitting on plenty of rupees, and since I now own bomb chews, I believe I can keep them in a bag. Is it the bomb bag you need to hold bomb chews? I believe that's the case. I don't know, because I usually, by the time I get bomb chews, I have the bomb bag, and you know, I'm so used to playing this game. In order, not out of whack, but okay, come on. No! No! What? We want to get to see this little sequence here. What? I like how you can actually jump out of the temple like that, but there was nothing at the end of this. Wow. That really, really sucks. Um, I do want to get this piece of heart, I guess. So there's that I can come back to. <laughs> really, that chest was the biggest troll. I don't have what I want. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so we gotta find something else to do. And we're not, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um, what I do want to do is I want to um, teleport to become an adult, pick up maybe the blue tunic. I could do that. Would it take me long to get there? Or can I buy it? I don't even know if you could buy it as a child. I probably can't. 
I don't remember, <laughs> like I said, playing this game out of sequence is just throwing me off so much, especially when you get denied stuff like this. Like that chest that we were working so hard for was just a fake chest that was supposed to hurt us. Real unlucky if you ask me, but okay, okay. Um, we gotta find a different route. So I think I'm gonna pick up the blue tunic. I think that would make a lot of sense. If we do pick it up again, I don't know what the game will do. Like, cause, uh, and, and some sort of character is gonna give it to us, an NPC of sorts, cause we were supposed to get it from the king of Zora, but he didn't give it to us. But, um, yeah, luckily I could take the shortcut, right? I, the magic bean, so I'll, I'm, I'm gonna be able to walk there. Don't worry, I'll be sure to use opponent this time around, but I should be able to walk there. Once I do get my bow, I can start killing the pose and I think every rupee you get might be randomized too because if the bottles are randomized so I just really need my bow I like how the second I got the bombs I'm like everything will open up and no now I just need my bow and I think we are set right everything is looking almost done except that and oh we'll replay that mini game as young like, let me just pick up the blue rupee I kind of forgot to do that I should have considered playing that mini game but okay it's fine um I'm gonna go ahead and not waste time here and play a bonus song. <laughs> Make sure she comes to me this time, cause yeah, walking while it is fast as an adult, I really feel like I can get by pretty easily. Uh it's just so much faster on a horse. It's not like Twilight Princess or Breath of the Wild where you need a horse to traverse Hyrule. Even even though uh Twilight Princess isn't that big, like to get the Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess is nothing, but it still needs um a horse. See, as you can see, we didn't really need one here. To get to, like, the lake, boom, we're there. But, like, oh my god, Breath of the Wild, definitely, if you don't have shrines available. And then, for Twilight Princess, if you don't have the teleportation things available, it's convenient, but the way Hyrule is laid out is almost, like, linear in, in Twilight Princess. Like, when I look at the way Hyrule is, there's so many narrow pathways that take you to some place, but it's not all connected. The way Breath of the Wild does it is just so good. And this is not a anything. Okay, yeah, it is. A, oh well. But, yeah, okay. So, let's go ahead and ride this out. This is, I needed uh, bombs or something for it. I couldn't do this earlier, right? I think. I don't know. I don't remember. No, I was right. Okay. <laughs> I could have done this early. I probably did. Or even if I didn't, I got freaking tricked. No! Why do I... <sighs> Every time, it's like the C button I accidentally click. Oh, the frog. The frogs. A bunch of mini games are hitting me. Never mind. We're not really in a rut. So, I'm going to pick up this blue uh, tunic. And then we got a couple mini games to take care of as well. I just remember the frogs are actually a perfect thing to consider. Um, I guess, it, yeah, trying to remember things off of the top of my head slows me down. But wow, I love, even though this is such an old game, the, the build up to um, Zora's Domain is so nice with the snow. Like, this looks so good and just mystical. I, I think it really fits. I kind of wish it was like this uh, as a kid, but I don't like the way Zora's Domain turned out as an adult, of course, because the domain itself is going to be absolutely uh, frozen over, and that ain't that pretty if you ask me. But okay, what we're doing essentially right now is we're wasting all of our rupees to have access to the water temple when push comes to shove. Um, and the water temple, we can pretty much solve entirely if we find the correct items but i don't have blue fire that's what i needed so <laughs> wow Th this whole episode has been essentially me having a bomb explode on my face like that's that's been the highlight of this video and that's what we've been doing just running to d stupid dead ends i'm not thinking for oh well um so do I walk all the way back to pick up this item? Is that really something I want to do? Is it worth it? It's not really, but we came this far and I feel like I'm just might as well. I'm not going to go ahead and become young Link and then kind of come back here. I feel like you could totally buy the tunic as a kid, but it's too late now. We're just going to go ahead and pick up this real quickly. Just some blue fire and then leave. Uh, pick up the tunic just so I have it done. You know, even though some videos won't be too much progress, I don't care. As long as there's some form of progress, 
complete, I'll be happy. So, I'm determined. I'm going to get what I came here for. And then we'll kind of move on from there. You know, we have all these mini games I want to look into. But, yeah, I just want to pick up this blue tunic just so I have it complete. So, okay, back in here. Actually, something that's really cool, a little tidbit, is in the Ice Cavern is if you stand still for a good while... Link normally has like an idle animation where he sets, you know, he uh, fixes his pants and whatever, or like plays with his sword if he has it out. But if you wait long enough, <laughs> yeah, he sneezes. <laughs> like literally, Nintendo went out of their way. Like, okay, the whoever the voice actor is, God, he has a sexy voice. Whoever the, the voice actor for Link is had to. <laughs> that's beside the point, though. Uh, he had to literally record himself sneezing. Like a fake sneeze for only when Link is in the ice cavern to get that idle animation. And that's some great attention to detail if you ask me. Like, I appreciate that Nintendo went out of their way to do something like that. It's so nice to see Link sneeze. I don't know why it is. But, yeah. And I freaking love Adult Link's voice in this game. I'd say it's one of my favorite voices Link has had uh, ever. I would say, like, maybe Twilight Princess is number one, though. Aesthetically, like, the way he looks and his voice. Like, he is just... Yeah, beyond it's attractive, I'll tell you that. In, in my eyes, uh, the TP is my favorite, uh, look-wise, but uh, I love me OOT Link as well. He's freaking badass because, I mean, I kind of grew up considering him to be my hero, you know, because he was the Link of my time, so. Yeah, okay, is there a skull play here? Maybe this was worth it. Oh! <gasps> Hey, it was worth it. I mean, every Skullful accounts. I kind of skipped out on this one. 24 or 34? Okay, not bad. We're almost at another set of 10. And literally, once we hit 50, we are done with uh, what items we can get from this. But okay, so at least we got what we wanted. Let's go ahead and now escape real quickly. I don't want to teleport out, sadly, because... Um, yeah, we're going to be way too far from where we want to go. And wow, is it me or this blade trap moving a bit too fast? Okay, phew. We avoided it. Okay, let's go ahead and just quickly leave. And, uh, use this on the shop. They block the shop as in it's, like, super... Like, it's funny. They block the shop as in it's so necessary to get the blue tunic. But it's like you could literally get the blue tunic... <laughs> by using the f blue fire on the king instead. So free the king instead of opening up the shop and you get the same exact reward. But obviously the shop, what sells? Fish? Is that what makes it more valuable? I don't know. Or if, you know what? I just remembered the reason why you need the shop and the reason why tunics aren't 100% uh, key items is because you can lose a tunic from a like like and imagine if you died from a like like or you just kind of left the like like without picking up the tunic because it does swallow the tunic off of link um that would be the issue so then you'd actually have to buy it again so never mind this makes a lot of sense and if anything this is some good safe precaution to have uh so i don't have to worry about this i, I doubt i doubt i'm gonna lose my tunic to a like like i'm just trying to convince myself that all of this nonsense i just did right now was somewhat worth it but it probably wasn't all right watch the tunic not even be in my price range holy crap it isn't <laughs> I'm like calling all my failures. This is the biggest fail of the video, but that's why we're gonna keep going I'm not gonna stop until I'm satisfied with the progress of this video So this might have been hard to watch me literally go in a complete circle without getting anything done But we got bomb chews. Let's go ahead and utilize those see if we get something done this way at least you know when we do get the giant wallet we can come back and buy that if we still don't have the blue tunic because at least it will remain open for good, so I'll take that. <laughs> Man, I feel so dumb this video, but I'm not going to stop playing until I'm satisfied. I'm going to treat every video like that. Like, we're just going to play the randomizer. You know, it's my blind experience. I'm going to be real with everything I do, even if I look dumb in certain things like what I just did right now but at least by the end of the video if there's some progress I'm happy and uh, yeah I just kind of want to treat this first playthrough like that you know because uh, 
this is my first time playing through the game, so I just want to give you guys my authentic experience. I really do believe by the time I'm ready to take on Majora's Mask, I'll have a much different mindset and approach with it. But I kind of want to play it blind as well, so, um, you know, kind of generate my own seed. I'm definitely going to keep Link Pink. I think Rose is just my new thing for randomizers, you know? Got to play as the Rose Warrior because I'm just such a fan now of this whole aesthetic. But, uh, okay. Um, so... Let's do the bomb chew mini game. I got money. I don't have the money for the tunic, but oh, uh, that's so. Fun. It's like watch me not have enough money for like it'd be out of my price range. In the second I said that, we noticed it. Okay, you better be open. You better. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. 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 Is that official magic? Is that magic magic and not just a magic jar? <gasps> okay. 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 We in it, boys. Let's do this. First try, come on, okay, okay. This, this, this is my, where I re redeem myself. This is redemption, guys. We're gonna be getting everything we need. This, like what, I think there's a couple valuable items. I think like four items we can get. Okay, never mind. I'm not redeeming myself here. Come on, Link. Don't clip on the wall. Yes, 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 perfect. No, really? Okay, I just need to walk forward and then place it. Is this good enough? Yes, it's good enough, okay. Last one. Immediately play, so chicken's gonna move. I did it. Nice. GG. I made that up. Uh, I actually could have done it if I was close enough. If I was more accurate. Okay. Go. Please. Please, Cuckoo. Yes! Yeah, okay. Nice. So, please, is official magic? Like, we can use Pharaoh's Wind and stuff? That's a jar of... Magic! I can use magic! Yes, I can! Yes, we'll play again! What do you have? Oh, <gasps> yes! Whoa, this is so worth it. Oh my god. Is that the silver gauntlets? Boy. <laughs> Yo, this was all planned, guys. I was planning to have a fail full episode so we can just come back hard at... No, not really. Okay, but I'm, I'm really happy. Let's not jinx this, though. Let's not let's not lose out on this item. I, can, I think she switches the item if you don't get it right. If you don't beat this. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Last one, last one. Throw one. Dude, I'm, I'm going, I'm going big. I'm going, no, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. Uh, that was really dumb. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Shoot! No, no! Okay, okay, it's fine. This chicken's gonna move now. I could trust it. You're gonna move too, come on, you're gonna move, you're gonna move. Yes, you move! No, what? You did, what? That doesn't make any sense. How did that even clip onto you? Don't come back! Don't come... Oh. oh god no. 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 Oh, please guys I can play again. No, don't switch the item. No. No. I don't care. I'm resetting. Give me another chance. Give me a better item. I can't believe that. I was so dumb. Yes. No! Stop! Alright, I'm going to try to win this so I can get my money back. <laughs> what are the odds? Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're going to keep playing until we get that gauntlet back uh, as an offer. Come on. No, come on, come on. Like, uh. I don't even care if I waste all my bombs doing this. Okay, cool. Cool. We did it! Oh, I don't care. I, I didn't even want to win this. I just spammed all my bombs. Okay, cool. Give me the money. Just give me the, the other prize. I'm not here for this bull crap. I want my magic and my... Yes. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Uh, no, no, no. Are, is, is it that randomized to where it come back? I'm so confused. I thought she only had four items to offer. Heart piece, bomb upgrades, and then the random stuff. And also, what's this so early on? Ah, uh, these cuckoos! Move! Ah, oh, you're stuck there. Okay, I don't care. I don't want the bombs. That's not gonna give me crap. Bombs are so useless. Yes, keep playing. Come on! Stop offering me this! No! No! <laughs> this is the worst episode I've recorded of the series yet. 
How did this explode? How did one explode so early? I'm feeling so confused. All right, come on. Yeah, okay, here we go. We got it, this is it. We're gonna, we, at least we know all the items from this mini game and this is the only item I want. So every single one counts. I'm not gonna mess up one bomb trip. I'm just gonna play this perfectly. And if not, at least I'll be playing it safe enough. So, okay. So I just need to tilt myself like this. There we go. And then for this one, I just need to place it now and the cuckoo won't be there and we won. No! Why does he move immediately starts? Okay, okay. Should be patient. Should be patient. Be extra patient. This is it. Don't turn. Don't come here. Don't. Ugh. Okay. It's fine. 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 Let's go. Stop. Stop. Turn. 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 Oh, no. What the frick, man? I've never had this much trouble. Okay. Don't turn. Don't stop. No. Why do you do that every time? Jeez. Okay, you're not gonna turn now. Let me guess, you are. You're just gonna block it again. Uh, okay, be super patient, be super patient. You know, just come to the center, and then I'm gonna throw you. No, I didn't want to. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Just stay there. No, no! <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. I swear, this is ridiculous. The last one. Uh, I am so out of it if this one doesn't work. Go. Go. What the frick? Come on. Come on. Finally. Holy crap. All right. We did it. I had to farm for more rupees because somehow I managed to blow through all my rupees for this mini game. It's one of the easiest mini games ever, but I'm just not having a good day today, it seems, throughout this entire video because we managed to get the silver gauntlet. So I don't want to play this stupid mini game again. I'm actually really, <laughs> really not having it now. We got the magic and silver gauntlets, which were awesome, but I spent way too much time and I'm honestly a bit pissed. So we're going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Uh, I, I, we got something and I don't really care. You know, you guys may say that this was kind of a runaround episode, but that's the randomizer for you. It kind of forces you to do that. Uh, I, I don't really plan these episodes. I just do them. So... You know, take it for what it is. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not in the mood after that. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to the next episode since we do have the Silver Gauntlet. It means we can continue on with the Spirit Temple and other things. So I'm, I'm definitely going to look forward to that. But we, we did waste a lot of time in this video, including with this mini game, And I am just done for now. So screw you, stupid cuckoo. No, no, come here. No, no, come here, you stupid. Run away. Yeah, you better freaking run away. All right, I'm going to stop. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one with a ton of magic.